Dear all, welcome to Simplified Triple Studies. In this video, I will be discussing important concept based on single phase half bridge inverter connected to R load. Let's understand what is an inverter. Inverter is a power electronic converter that converts direct power to alternating power. And uh, we can able to say that in, in, in case of inverter that converts fixed DC into variable AC. There are two types of inverter, one is half bridge inverter, another one is full bridge inverter and there are many classification as well like uh, current source inverter and voltage source inverter that will be discussed thereafter. So today I am going to discuss mainly, focus, mainly based on uh, the competitive examination point of view. In case of half bridge inverter, there will be two power switches and two diodes. Two diodes are mainly used for preventing the reverse current flow. Okay. Uh, it is a, ensuring the protection for the particular switches and also two switches are complementary each other I mean if one switch is on of course other switch should be off and vice versa not only that two switches never be turned on at a time these are the specialties of half bridge inverter if I talk about the circuit diagram of half bridge inverter we can say the sources are Vs by 2 and Vs by 2 it is divided actually the load has been connected over the when the switch S1 is on we will be saying that the current will be always traveling from positive to negative like this what about the direction of load current it is in the sa same direction see the direction of current flow through the circuit and assumed direction of load currents are same therefore we will be saying that uh, the output the load current is positive if I talk about on the opposite side when it comes to the second case when s2 is on at that time what about the current flow current flow will be like this the direction of load current will be negative because load current and direction of the current which is flowing through the circuit both are opposite okay that's why uh, we'll be saying that uh, when switch s2 is on the di both the directions are opposite so load current will be negative then how the switches are turned off? This assume that these switches are either MOSFET or IGBT and these switches are uh, turned on by providing the suitable gating pulse IG1 okay to turn on S2 we need to provide IG2 so same thing is mentioned here and you can able to see this is your output waveform how you are getting the output waveform so in the first case when S1 is on we will be getting the output voltage like this on the opposite side when S2 is turned on you are able to get the output voltage like this what about the shape of the output it's a square waveform usually we think that it's a sinusoidal but it's a square waveform okay so from the square waveform if we directly provide the square output to the particular load the load will not be operated properly there are a lot of distortions that is called a harmonics okay uh, to avoid that we need to extract the fundamental component from the square output so we have to use the Fourier series we are supposed to use the Fourier series like this this is your our expected output because we need to extract the fundamental component like V01 ok so this is a brief explanation about uh, half bridge inverter which is connected to R load and uh, this is very important for competitive examination point of view now there is an output equation you have to remember V0 of T is equal to sigma n equal to 135 to infinity for Vs by n phi into sin n omega 0 t. Why 1, 3, 5? Because we need to consider only odd harmonics. Due to symmetry, even harmonics will be cancelled each other. Clear? Uh, Vs is the RMS, vo RMS voltage. Vs. Clear? Now you can able to give the value and you can able to calculate it. it you can expand. It's possible to expand. Omega naught means nothing but fundamental angular frequency. To calculate the RMS value, you need to uh, divide the peak value to its square root of 2 then you will be getting 2 root 2 vs by pi one of the very important point of uh, competitive exam point that is what is the total harmonic distortion of half bridge inverter that is 48.43 to calculate but the calculations and all no need to remember immediately you have to remember that thd of half bridge inverter is 48.43 percentage and also the output voltage of half wave inverter with r load can be written as uh, 2 VDC by n pi into uh, 
sin of n omega 0 t here er, earlier you might have seen the equation this is standard equation from the from this standard equation you can able to derive 2 vdc by n pi into sin n omega 0 t so you have to re replace with the rms value and peak value that's it total power delivered to the load is equal to vdc square divided by 4r and these are the steps okay, if you want you can remember that and also total power delivered by the each source is given by vdc square by eta because two sources are there now look at the circuit diagram in the circuit diagram we will be saying that vs by 2 and vs by 2 because two sources that's why we can able to say that a total power delivered by each sources are vdc square by eta these are the important concepts now i request you to go through the particular questions there are 10 11 questions i made okay based on one my one of my reference so i request you to answer it accordingly okay so i have shown the reference also let's have a brief discussion the first question please go through the question what is the voltage across r load when only t2 is conducting suppose when only t2 is conducting what about the output voltage across the load obviously it is vs by 2 assume that v1 equal to vs clear second question the voltage in a single phase half wave inverter single phase half wave inverter of course the output voltage varies between uh, vs by 2 and minus vs by 2 vs is the source voltage below given is a dash identify the device first you identify this a mosfet now yes switches are mosfet and uh, we have a diode also we can able to say that it's a mosfet based inverter it is pretty clear option b is the right answer question number four the output of single phase half bridge inverter on r load is ideally what is the answer it is of course we have shown the output ideally you will be getting the output like the square pulse only from the square pulse you need to extract the sinusoidal waveform initially you will be getting the square waveform please choose option b question number uh, five in the below given circuit t1 is fired at 0 comma t so and uh, so on and t2 are fired at t by 2 comma 3 t by 2 what is the frequency of alternating voltage obtained it is very simple the t1 that is going to operate in between 0 and t so what about the time period t minus 0 that is nothing but t uh, the t2 look at the t2 look at the t2 t2 the time period will be uh, it is the difference between 3 t by 2 and uh, t by 2 what is 3 3 t by 2 and 3 by 2 difference 2 t by 2 that is equal to t so time period will be t so what is the frequency frequency of output waveform 1 by time period very simple so please select option c question number 6 in the below circuit vs by 2 is equal to 50 volt find the rms voltage that would be ideally obtained we have the option first you identify that vs by 2 what is vs by 2 vs by 2 means source voltage only it's a peak value so let me write vm is equal to 50 volt so look at the output voltage rms output voltage so vrms you know vrms equal to vrms equal to vm by root vrms equal to vm by root okay the below given circuit vs by 2 that is already given 50 so uh, find the rms voltage rms voltage that would be ideally obtained okay so please identify the right answer so the right answer for this question is so c option c you can select then question number seven find the conduction time of the diode of scsr5 we already discussed it this one is already discussed then output current waveform of a single phase full bridge inverter on rl load it's a triangular waveform you can select option option c is the correct answer then single phase full bridge inverter requires which is the right answer single phase full bridge inverter look at the full bridge inverter we require four power switches that means four scrs and four diodes for the freewheeling action so option b is the right answer so last 10th uh, question identify the circuit given below what is the circuit obviously it's a uh, full wave inverter option c is the right answer 
single phase full bridge uh, inverter requires for STS and 